Oh, radio, tell me everything you know. Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? It's your boy Gideon, aka G Dub, welcoming you back to Wrestling Showdown Entertainment on the WWE 2K18 Universe Mode. And ladies and gentlemen, this is episode 8. And tonight, ladies and gentlemen, tonight, we are on Wednesday Night Clash. And I am excited to be on Wednesday Night Clash. So without further ado, let's get started. And I've had Zack Ryder's theme song stuck in my head all day. So you heard me sing a little bit of it. While we're waiting, I'm going to just sing a little more. And I don't, you can make fun of me all you want because I know I'm a bad singer. So, oh, radio, tell me everything you know. I will believe your every word, just tell me so. I see the look in their eyes, I see desire in their lies, in their eyes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That was terrible, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Guys, I am pumped. It's been a good day. I uh, just turned in an application for a job. I keep forgetting about this every time. I just put an application in for a job. I'm going to be trying to work as a uh, as a teacher assistant. But here we are, Wednesday Night Clash, in the good old town of Bowling Green, Kentucky. I've been through Kentucky. I've been through Bowling Green, I believe. Uh, we take that up to Ohio to when we go see my great grandma and aunt barb uh, they both live in dayton ohio so if you if you know that area you know what i'm talking about shout out to dayton ohio people but here we are ladies and gentlemen tonight we have a normal match and it is the flying x from friday night frenzy going up against tyson phoenix from monday night mania and then ladies and gentlemen we have an eight man battle royal over the top rope and it has the German dancer Hans Coronado, Rex Page, the Dark Lord, the technical champion Neil Braxton. Wait, is he still technical champion? No, he is not. Cedric won it. Yeah, Cedric won the title. So Neil Braxton was the technical champion, but Cedric Hawkins won on Friday Night Frenzy last time. Next we have Joseph Sage, then Ty Poe, the emo man, the self-proclaimed genius Mark Bailey, hard to beat him, Zach Harden, and Jeff Tyler. Then for our third match, ladies and gentlemen, we have the Panther from Friday Night Frenzy going up against the King, Jason King, from Monday Night Mania. Then we have a triple threat match, and we have the two rivals themselves, Otis Love, his rival Javier Rodriguez, and also from Monday Night Mania, another rival to Tyson Phoenix, Red Avenger. And for our main event match, ladies and gentlemen, a local gladiator is putting up his power ranking number one spot against, oh crap, I just went blank, the steampunk Eddie Bain. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's begin with our first match, Flying X versus Tyson Phoenix. And as I say in all my videos, please comment down below, who do you think is going to win and who's your favorite? And also, if you've been enjoying the series, please leave a like and subscribe and you can be a part of the G-Dub Nation. I'm really excited about this, guys. It's been a great day, like I said, turning an application to work as a uh, teacher assistant uh, with, uh, uh, like, everyone from, like, kids from infants all the way to 12-year-olds. I just love being around kids. Uh, I'm a kid myself. Uh, I work out a, uh, at the Early Childhood Lab over at Stephen F. Austin, and uh, the, ki oh, the kids love it when I do impressions because I'll just do random voices. Like robot voices is this. I love doing this one. They think it's funny. I kind of think it's annoying. And then I'll do like a uh, other characters like a uh, oh Kermit the Frog here. Why are there so many songs about rainbows? And they love that one. They uh, 
uh, one of the teachers up there says she needs to get me a Kermit the Frog puppet. That way I can have with me whenever I do that voice. And uh, it's not good, but they also like my Mickey Mouse. So, uh -huh, it's me, Mickey Mouse. Uh -huh. Thank you for joining us. Uh -huh. But without, <laughs> without further, uh, <laughs> oh boy. All right, let's just get started. <laughs> <laughs> yeah my kids love the voices I do they think it's great and fun so yeah <laughs> I'm sorry y'all are probably thinking I'm weirder than the heck now and if you are thinking that thank you I take this as a compliment but here we go ladies and gentlemen entering the ring the flying X here we go boing he is pumped up and ready to go ladies and gentlemen it's his time to shine. Let's see how he does against his opponent tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, the Phoenix Unleashed, Tyson Phoenix. In three, two, one, the lights will go off. Three, two, one, out. Nope, I was wrong. I'm sorry, guys. I'm wrong a lot of the times. <laughs> but uh, on who I think will win this match, I'm going to go with Phoenix. Phoenix has been on a nice hot streak lately. I think he's going to keep it up. I really do, ladies and gentlemen. So here we are. We see Tyson Phoenix with the flames growing on him. And here's the lights. What do you think of the Phoenix Unleashed? Also, do you think I should get his uh, the letters to glow? I think that might be really cool if I can get that to work and it doesn't look blurry. So let me know down below what you think. I really hope y'all are enjoying this. Uh, I know I don't have a lot of viewers, but it's still something I love doing. And yeah, I'm really hoping y'all are liking this and wanting to be a part of it. Because y'all have a say in what goes on. Like y'all have a big say in what goes on. So here we are, Phoenix is in the ring, Flying X making his way over to his corner. Phoenix just staring at X. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but yeah, I think Phoenix might win because he's been on a nice uh, hot streak lately with all the wins he's gotten under his belt. Well, not under his belt, but under him right now. Uh, like Red Avenger's been kind of struggling against him. But maybe things will change. But here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Flying X versus Tyson Phoenix in three, two, one. And X with a great start, putting his knee on top of Phoenix, ladies and gentlemen. And also, I am joined on commentary today by my good buddy Riggs, who is now asleep right next to me. <laughs> yeah, he's asleep right next to me. Uh, except this time, he's not wanting to steal my. Well, no, that was Ike, but. <laughs> But here we go, Flying X in full control of this match, ladies and gentlemen. And here we go with a nice reversal by Phoenix. I just realized something. Every time I say that, it, that always ends up happening. Like, it always ends up, like, uh, turning in a different way from how it's supposed to be. But here we go. Phoenix is now in control. Nice leg sweep. Now picking X up once again, ladies and gentlemen. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm also pumped because of the new Pokemon trailer that just came out for Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. I'm so excited for it. I'm actually debating what I'm more excited for, Kingdom Hearts 3 or the Pokemon Let's Go games. But it was amazing just watching. If, if you're a Pokemon fan and you haven't seen it or you've played Pokemon before but don't care for it now, at least go back and check because this is going to be a remake of Kanto, except instead of getting Pikachu, Bulbasaur, I mean, uh, Bulbasaur, Squirtle, and Charmander, uh, you'll get Pikachu if you choose Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee if you get Let's Go Eevee. And uh, I personally want Let's Go Eevee, and I know me and my mom are going to fight about that one for a while because we both like Eevee over Pikachu so much. So it's going to be. It's going to be a brawl against each other. See who wins this and uh, gets the game. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, um, it looks amazing. Uh, especially that when you see uh, you riding the Pokemon or like 
watching the Pokemon follow you. Oh, it's so awesome. I love it so much. Especially seeing uh, you ride Onyx. Oh, that made me so happy. And what was really cool was uh, the Pokemon the Pokemon Go app now works with this. Ooh, nice uh, super kick. Uh, the Pokemon Go app works with the game. So you can transfer Pokemons from your Pokemon Go game over to uh, the Let's Go. And from the Let's Go over, then like you can do some kind of special gift from the Let's Go over to Go, which looks really cool and I'm excited for it. And it looks like I'm going to have to get back into Pokemon Go. Uh, I ended up giving it up like about a month ago, like a couple weeks before finals started for me. So uh, yeah, I haven't done it in a while because I remember the last Pokemon I caught was a uh, was the Moltres during the field week. Uh, special stuff. Ooh, beautiful sitting bomb. One, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, the Flying X has won the match. As an impressive win on Flying X's part, I am shocked that he, he won, even though I shouldn't be, ladies and gentlemen, but that was still a great match. As we see from the replays, the beautiful diving sitting bomb to finish it all off with the pin. And from another angle, oh, that was such a beautiful diving sentin' bomb, ladies and gentlemen. And here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, the Flying X. But yeah, Pokemon's a big part of my life. Because, uh, neat fact, uh, Pokemon Sapphire was actually my first Pokemon game. And actually my first game in general, to be honest. I love Pokemon Sapphire with so, like so much, and my starter was Mudkip, so Mudkip's always been my starter no matter what when it comes to the Sapphire and Ruby games. Uh, I have tried Torchic with Emerald, and I did Skeptile with Omega Ruby, but uh, when I got Alpha Sapphire, I had to keep uh, I had to keep Mudkip. I had to start it with him again. But here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We are now getting ready for our eight man battle royale match and here we have our and I'm gonna go from left to right and make it easy so we have the hard to beat him Zach Harden the emo man typo the former technical champion Neil Braxton the German dancer Hans Coronado Rex Page the Dark Lord Mount Man Joseph Sage, the self-proclaimed genius Mark Bailey, and Jeff Tyler. I feel bad. I, I don't have anything for Jeff Tyler, to be honest with you. Like, I got everything else for everyone. I, like, I got something to say with everyone else, but not Jeff Tyler for some reason. I haven't thought of anything yet. Mainly just because I haven't seen him in any matches. I, d I don't know exactly what to say. Because uh, really, the only matches I've seen him in so far have been the Battle Royals. He hasn't been in any other matches. I think maybe if he wins a battle royale, he might start getting some other matches. And I'd be glad to see that. I think Jeff Tyler deserves a chance at some of those other matches. But let me know down below. Who do you think is going to win? And who's your favorite? And without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's begin. Hey, that was good timing. <laughs> So as usual, enjoy the German dancer Hans Coronado make his way to the ring with his beautiful entrance, his beautiful dancing style. After we get done looking at the beautiful people here in the audience, ladies and gentlemen, in, Ken in uh, Kentucky tonight. Here we go. Now, if I remember right, Hans Coronado did a good job last week. Uh, during the battle royale, uh, I think he got like third in the battle royale, and he at least got one big elimination, and that was it, which was very surprising and very good on his part, in my opinion. But let's see if he can pull something out out of his hat. Let's see if he can pull off another win, ladies and gentlemen.
So here we are, Hong Kong. Ouch. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen, Hans Coronado in the ring, ready to go. And now, for the second opponent in this Battle Royale match, ladies and gentlemen, it is Rex Page. Man, the Dark Lord, he is ready for this. So let's see. He didn't get to compete last week. Same with Jeff Tyler. He didn't get to compete. Uh, but Hans Coronado did compete in this match, and he did a pretty good job. Uh, I'm really excited to see what all happens, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I had to yawn. Usually I block it out, but I forgot about blocking it out right now. I love... <laughs> I'm not sure if y'all saw it, but Hans Coronado was just leaning against the rope. He's like, come on. Come on. A little faster, buddy. Come on. You're taking too long. <laughs> it, that was pretty good. Like, I'll give him credit. That was really good. Because let's see, last week our Battle Royale winner was, uh, let's see, it wasn't Hans, I know that, I'm looking over at my chart to see who it was real quick. If I can find my charts, uh, but yeah, Hans Coronado got third, I know that, I rem I know that for sure. It was, uh, who was it? Oh, Eric Bishop. Eric Bishop won. I'm looking on my notes right here, ladies and gentlemen. Eric Bishop was the winner of that match. And he did amazing. Eliminating, I believe, three people in that match. Because he eliminated Hans. He eliminated Sangre Blanco. Sangre Blanco was the last one in there with him. So, yeah. And here comes the third opponent into the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the former technical champion, Neil Braxton. Now, Neil Braxton, he, he's a little upset just because he lost his title. I, I hope he doesn't get too mad at his buddy Cedric Hawkins. I uh, haven't got any word from any of y'all of what y'all think on if, uh, if we should have a rivalry between the two friends or not. But uh, Braxton has talked about using his rematch clause at Roadblock. So maybe he can get that, uh, that uh, championship back at Roadblock. And ladies and gentlemen, I will be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, I am back with a glass of water, because as I always say, water goes a long way. Ah. And here is our fourth competitor in the match, Joseph Sage. Joseph Sage, he looks ready to go, ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the ring, just determined as ever to win a shot. Well, to win this battle royale, not win a shot at something, but to win this battle royale. Joseph Sage getting a good look at the opponents that he will be facing who are on the outside of the ring right now. Looks like he's ready to go, ladies and gentlemen. So, he's taking off his shirt now. He's got to show off that hairy chest of his. I don't know why. Uh, 
I don't know why I had to say it like that. <laughs> but here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Our fifth competitor is make is now on his way over to the rink. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen. From Monday Night Mania. Ty Poe. What's that in his hand? Oh my goodness. Ooh. It's green, I like it. Green's my second favorite color. Purple being my first, gray being my third. Then blue's fourth, black's fifth. Oh, cool. He just put on his cape and his mask. <laughs> okay, you do you, Typo. Ladies and gentlemen, Typo, very, very sinister character in the WWE. Doesn't talk much to anyone. Kind of like if you try to get him to do a promo, he's just going to walk away. He might do a promo if we get him in a rivalry, but for now, he's just going to be a silent type. That's all he's going to be, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Our sixth, well, yeah, sixth competitor about to enter the ring. Here he comes. It is the self proclaimed genius, Mark Bailey. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I am kind of kind of quiet today. Um, just trying to think to really what to say right now. I'm I'm really tired. I've been over to uh, the town of Mineral Wells at least twice today. It's about 30 minute drive from where I live. So I drove over there early this morning. <sighs> drove back. Then in a couple hours, I left to go with my grandma to her dentist appointment. You know, because she asked me if I'd go with her, and I told her I would. So, being the good grandson I am. <laughs> and plus, it was a good time spending with my grandma. Actually, caught my grandma singing along with me to the radio. Uh, one of the songs that we both like uh, by a country singer named Randy Travis. The song's called Forever and Ever, Amen. If you've never heard of it, look it up. You'll like it. It's really good. It's one of my favorite songs. But here we go, ladies and gentlemen, our seventh, seventh, seventh competitor making his way to the ring. It is hard to beat him. It is very hard to beat him. Zach Harden, ladies and gentlemen. But also, ladies and gentlemen, I'm also posting a picture on my Instagram telling people, hey, come watch my video I got uh, on uh, YouTube. That way I can get more people to watch and more people to share them. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Our last competitor, last competitor after Zach Harden coming to the rink is drum roll, please. Oh, I'm sorry, Riggs. I didn't mean to wake you up. I'm sorry. 
<laughs> Quit the drum rolls. <laughs> Lay back down, okay, buddy? Okay? You're all right. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen. Our eighth competitor, Jeff Tyler. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The match is beginning. So we have Tyler and Harden going against each other. Coronado and Poe. Sage and Page. <laughs> Sage and Page. <laughs> Braxton and Bailey going at each other now. <laughs> Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, I'm trying to get the word out about this. That way people can come and watch because I want everyone to get involved. I want everyone to have a say on what goes on in this WWE. Uh, in this WWE. In, the, in this WWE universe. And I cannot talk for some reason. <laughs> And if you would like to, please follow me on Instagram, ladies and gentlemen. It would be a great thing to have y'all amazing people following me. Because uh, y'all get to enjoy these videos. Plus, it'll give me more of a time, like a more better time to spend with y'all. And let y'all get to be a big part of all of this. I have got this now posted on my YouTube channel. So if you want to go follow me on Instagram, please go follow G Dub Nation, just like the name of the YouTube channel, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, we still have everyone. Wait, two, four, three. Oh no, someone got eliminated. And see, because I'm not paying attention, I wasn't able to see. I'm sorry guys, this is probably one of my worst commentaries yet. Uh, like I said, I'm still new to this and uh, please don't get upset with me about this. I'm, I'm trying my best. And Rex Page was the one eliminated. Now looking at it, so Sage probably eliminated him. Uh, I'll have to go back and watch. That's what I get for not watching, ladies and gentlemen. There's a punch to Bailey. Another punch to Bailey. And Bailey is out, ladies and gentlemen, by Poe. We're now down to six competitors. Sage is going against Poe. 
Coronado is going against Braxton. That is my alarm telling me that this will be the end of part one, this match anyway. So be ready for part two where we have our last three matches on it. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Tyler trying to eliminate Harden right here, ladies and gentlemen. Not good enough. Nice, uh, nice reversal by Coronado. Here we go, Sage after Poe. Oh, military press drop right onto Poe, and there goes Poe, ladies and gentlemen. We are now down to five competitors. I believe that is two eliminations under Sage now. Tyler now on top rope, hitting, uh, hitting Harden with a nice uh, backdrop. Quick power bomb by Tyler onto Harden. And now he's go Tyler going after Coronado. Sage breaking it up. But Tyler's still determined to go after Coronado. Am I sensing a small rivalry? I don't know. Braxton in the corner just sitting there. Harden going to try to, to eliminate Sage right here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and almost getting Sage out of the ring. Here we go. Tyler's now got Coronado by the back of the neck, putting him over on the ropes. Oh, and here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Power bomb by Tyler, throwing Coronado out of the ring. Oh my goodness. Let's have a replay of that. Oh, that is beautiful. Coronado going from third last week to fifth this week. Man, oh man. And no eliminations under Coronado's belt either. But now we have Braxton going against Sage, Tyler going against Harden, Braxton's got, ooh, super kick. Oh, and a nice reversal, Sage staying in this, oh my goodness. Good maneuver by Sage to get rid, to like stay in this match. Here we go, Braxton on the rope, and a nice clothesline by Harden to get rid of Tyler. Sage trying to get rid of Braxton. Harden just sitting there watching. Is he going to help or no? Uh, oh, and there goes Neil Braxton, ladies and gentlemen. We're down to Joseph Sage and Zach Harden, ladies and gentlemen. Zach Harden taking full advantage to make sure Sage doesn't get up for a while. I'm now joined by commentary by my cat Ike, who's sitting here wanting to be pet on because he is rubbing his face against my hand. Oh, and here we go. Harden into a powerbomb position on Sage. Ooh. Sage thrown into the turnbuckle. That's got to hurt. Harden's just messing with Sage right now. Here we go. He's now dragging Sage. Alligator roll into a Heimlich maneuver, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Beautiful fisherman suplex, and he picked up the other leg of Sage. Oh my goodness. And here we go. What's he about to do? Grabbing Sage by the back of the neck. Is this it? Here we go. Harden going to try to eliminate Sage right here, right now. Sage still holding on. And here goes Harden trying to get rid of him. Will it be enough? Almost. Almost. Oh, Sage is able to get out of it, ladies and gentlemen, and he's rolling back into the ring. Harden turns around trying to punch, but there's Sage with a beautiful kick onto Harden now. And now with a nice little uppercut by Harden onto Sage. Harden just took a lot of energy trying to do all that, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Ooh. Big hit by Sage, and a nice power slam by Sage onto Harden. So the two left, who do you think is going to win this, ladies and gentlemen? Please let me know down in the comments. I'm kind of thinking Sage might win this. He's been on a pretty mean streak lately. There's a punch. Oh, and there's the clothesline to finish it off, ladies and gentlemen. That is it. Here is your winner, Joseph Sage. Man, oh man, 
There's that beautiful power bomb from earlier that Tyler did, and that beautiful clothesline by Sage onto Harden. So, ladies and gentlemen, here's your winner, Joseph Sage. And ladies and gentlemen, that will be the end of part one for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. We will be back with part two very soon. I will start recording as soon as I say goodbye to y'all. Please be sure to hit that like button. Comment down below on how you're thinking it's going so far. What's your favorite match? Of course, if you know me by now, you know my favorite match is the Battle Royale. So I'm going to have to go with that. And subscribe if you are happy to be a part of the wrestling showdown entertainment and being a part of the g-dub nation and without further ado i will see you in part two peace out <laughs>